Slam! Oh, there it is! Passing forward! That's your slam! That's the dunk! Hello! Gamer Nom is back! So for today's Blocks Fruits video, I will be showcasing the Dragon Fruit. But before that, let me first give you two things to consider before eating this legendary fruit. Okay, let's start. So for number one, eating dragon fruit while base level is low. Why? Because if your base level is high, like 1,400, something like that, then you can level up the mastery fast. But if your level is like this level one, it will be very hard for you to level up this skill. Check this out. The first skill that you will get the heat wave is very hard for grinding. Every time you hit your enemy, again, lure them, hit them, they will be scattered all over the area. Two things, wait for them to come to you or lure them again. And that will make your grinding longer. So again, make sure if you, if you want to eat this, I suggest you eat this when your level is high. Next up, the mastery needed to learn new skills. Most of the skills like need uh, 75, 100 mastery to unlock new skills. But in this fruit, maybe since it's legendary, check that out. Heat wave, 3 dragon, dragonic claw, 150, fire shower, 250, transformation, 350, dragon flight, 75. Even the flight that is usually 10 mastery, right? Needed to uh, like unlock. Here 75, so it really is hard. Again, leveling using this uh, fruit is very hard too because again, your first skill, enemy will be scattered all over the place. So ways to level up fast. Oh, I have uh, uh, three tips for you. First, you can kill bosses, one-on-one uh, -on -one fights. This this fruit is very good, so. High level bosses, you can defeat them for higher mastery even though you can't get the quest yet. You can still get a decent amount of mastery from these boss fights. And again, it spawns like once or twice an hour. So yeah, take the time off killing mobs and defeat these bosses. Next stop is defeating the highest level mobs in the sea. Yeah, the old sea. I go the galley captains. Yes, you can defeat them. If you have more skills, better. But Dragon Claw and the Heat Wave Beam is enough. But if you have the Fire Shower, then it's better. Defeat them. And again, don't forget the two times experience from the elf. Use candies to get those things. That will be very helpful for you. Next up is this. Ask, for, ask a friend if he has the chop chop fruit then this will be perfect for the both of you you can defeat those mobs easily but 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 again let him damage it and you will deal the final blow there you go see that two mobs in like uh, 10 seconds that will be fast and 40,000 exp maybe 20,000 tier mastery that's it. Let's go. Let us showcase this. First up, the heat wave again. Damage is good. For boss fights, this fruit is good. But for grinding, you need to be patient. Okay? Damage is good. Range is good. Overall, it depends on the situation. Boss fights, again, good. Grinding, maybe so-so. Uh, maybe I'm in the middle. I'm torn. Okay? <laughs> There you go. Next up is the Dragonic Claw. Guys, this skill is one of the best for one-on-one -on -one fights. And again, boss fights, that's a one-on-one -on -one fight. There you go. After you hit your enemy with the effects or something like that, there is a burn effect after that. Check that out. So cool. Oh, by the way, Heat Wave cooldown. I think all of the skills for this uh, fruit has good cooldown. Next up is the fire shower. It's like when I'm using this, I'm I'm hitting the enemy with many heat wave. There's still a knockback, 
but comparing it to heatwave it's kind of uh, shorter the damage is good the cooldown is good just make sure that your enemy is in a closed area so that you can maximize the damage and last hey that's this is not the last skill but yeah one of the last skills transformation mastery 350 again you cannot use this skill if your fury meter is not full make sure to take note of that before uh, planning on using the skill and after that there you go it's so cool same as the uh, first three skills but but all the skills will come out from the dragon's mouth and dragon claw will be uh, aoe yeah, it has an area effect check that out all of them were damaged by the burn and last one fire shower is like you're gonna destroy the whole village check that out <laughs> I think there's an increase in damage too. So last up is the Dragon Flight. You need 75 mastery to unlock this. Oh, and if you are familiar with this rings, you can see this in the Skypea Island. You can change the color of your dragon. As you can see, the wing is already blue, now red. So the higher the mastery, the more choices. Hmm, so I think that would be it. Uh, again, Two things to consider your base level the higher your base level the better i don't suggest that you eat this fruit when you're still a uh, low level like what i did with this account level one it's very hard it's very uh, it will really take time for you to reach these skills next up the mastery guys again it is connected to the first uh tip it's the mastery you need high mastery to unlock skills again this will make it harder for you to grind okay again so that would be it overall i think this fruit is good as long as you can level it up if you have like uh candies friends to help you and game pass the two times mastery then everything will be good so i hope that you learned something from this video i will be posting more blocks fruits video so again to all the viewers, subscribers, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. See you on my next video. GamerNom out.